Hey everyone, Spice Wolf 7 for the Gamers Emporium, bringing you another episode of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Today I was going to go over some things with the, uh, with the pea shooter. Now there are different types of pea shooters, of which I don't have any of them except for the berry shooter and the plasma pea unlocked and I prefer the plasma P. Now the plasma P has this ability uh, has uh, three different abilities then from your regular P shooter as well as the uh, berry shooter does. Uh, for one his reload speed is increased because of uh, I believe it said something about having more quarks or having super superpositional superpositional uh, P's. I also uh, deal more damage, and I also can shoot like regular peas, but I also have this cool ability. Check this out. I can charge up one pea to do this. So it's got some like area of effect damage, and it does a lot, I'm not going to lie to you. It's, uh, it's, it is pretty awesome. So right now, I'm going to try and find a garden in which to do... Uh, I like this one over here. Bushy Meadows. Yeah. Alright, so let's plant a garden, and then I'll go over some of the things. On our shooter. But first off, we gotta plant our garden, and make it a little bit more, uh, defendable. I always, I would always suggest putting a healing flower near the base, at least one, so that... You know, in case you're like me who doesn't have a healer, you, you have, you know, something to heal you in case. Also up here, I highly suggest putting down here a bamboo shoot. Because it has a really good range around in this particular area so that you don't have to worry about, like, getting some of those longer range targets. Especially if you're playing by yourself. Okay, so... The Plasma P does a lot more damage than the regular one. Like, I think the regular P only does like 15 or 14 damage, whereas the Plasma P does like 10 to 20, depending on where you hit them. Oh, I already took care of them. And... Fire. Okay, that missed. Okay, so another one of the abilities I've been using, uh, I already used twice in this game, is called Hyper. Hyper enables the pea shooter to uh, start running at increased speed and jump extremely high to reach heights a little bit better. More of a, it's more of a tactical thing. So yeah, I can jump and make it up here and stuff like that. But if I had hyper on, I'd make it up here a lot faster. All right, well here's a good example. So I have to get over here rather quickly so I can start taking these zombies out. So I'm already up here. So I can start taking them out from high up instead of having to take them out from the ground, which gives me the advantage of the uphill. Usually. Pow. Instant kill. Now where are the other ones? Oh, shoot. Okay, well my base is under attack. So now we're gonna wanna hurry up over here. Um like without hyper, he's the pea shooter is actually not that slow to begin with, anyway. Where is he? Oh, oh, well, my plants took him out. Okay, cool. So the next ability I'm going to show you is called the P can uh, the P Gatling, which is the if you look on my abilities on the right, it is the uh, middle one. <laughs> Keep your garden minty. Hold back those zombies. I, I don't understand. No garden damage. Oh, mint condition. Got it. Okay, so this is uh, my favorite ability. It's not exactly um, high damage, but it's a lot of fun. Uh oh, I gotta move down here if I want to do this. Oh crap, 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 crap. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, oh well. I did try. But yeah, that was the P Gatling in which you uh, plant yourself into the ground and then you come up with this giant gun on your face. You are way too excited to be wearing that hat. Uh, and you do um, a lot of like directed damage. It's really good, especially if you have like enemies that are coming at you from, like, kind of far away. Oh, shoot. Oh, well. 
The next ability I want to show you guys is the hot chili bean, which is, I would call it a grenade, and most typical regular zombies will definitely be affected by it. Like, these guys would be affected by it. Uh, the only ones that aren't are, like, this guy right here. Like, he won't, he would, like, what I mean by affected is that they will typically actually go and look at the, uh, the chili bean itself. Uh, whereas this guy will just kind of, like, pass it by. Well, there wasn't a whole lot of zombies in order to do the chili beans, so hopefully on this next one I'll get a better chance. But I think we're about to get the zomb boss. Yeah, I think it's on the... Yeah. Give me money! Give me money, 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 money. Uh, tombstone. Ooh, money. I'm okay with this. And more money? Funky zombie. Okay. So this would be a good chance to definitely dish out some major directed damage at the funky zombie. Assuming I can find him. First. Okay, so it looks like I just got a couple of these guys. Oh, there he is. Alright, so let's dish this out. First off, are we clear? We're pretty much clear. So like you can see, he does. it does a lot of damage like straight up dished out and I took the zombie guy already and there was only one funky zombie so it's not terrible okay so here we go hot chili bean boom there's a lot of, oh I should have maybe waited but it does a high amount of damage in a sh you know like a very <coughs> excuse me in a short amount of time like you don't need to be like super close in order to use it. You can kind of lob it, I guess is the term I would probably use. Oh shit. Alright, well we're done. <sighs> Looks like my garden definitely needs to re-up. But um yeah, I mean like the pea shooter is definitely the uh, front foot soldier of the group. It's uh definitely worth having in the group my other suggestion is to have maybe one if not two healers and then um i don't know about the cactus but I, I think a really good team would be a combination of two pea shooters and two healers or uh three healers one pea shooter because the healers actually do you know they say it does low damage but i've been known to give it away with some pretty amazing uh oh okay here we go launch the bean boom all of them gone that was a really good bean explosion effect right there. I hate the scientists. They are my least favorite zombie to take out. I missed him. All right. Get away from my healing flower. Alright, perfect wave. Right on. So that pretty much wraps it up for the Peace Shooter. Um, I guess if you guys have any other questions, uh, please feel free to ask. I do plan on playing a couple of uh, different missions with the other characters so you can kind of see what they do as well. Um, if you like the video, definitely give us a like, a subscribe, we always like those. If you're liking what we're putting out, let us know. If you want us to change it up in any sort of way, let us know about that too. Also, hope you guys are excited as we are for the Advanced Warfare videos that we're putting out. We're, we're definitely impressed by the game and uh, we hope you guys are loving it too. Anyway guys, this is Spice Wolf 7 signing off for the Gaming Emporium and hope you guys have a wonderful day. Cheers guys.